so good morning students today i am going to explain about the groups and we know that group is the basic part of the group theory so today i will tell you i will explain what is the group and what the what are the other associated things like what is group and what is the groupoid what is semi group and what is monoid so we will see one by one so <coughs> this is the part of group theory and we very well know that group this is the fundamental concept of modern algebra if you wish to study about the modern algebra and this is the basic or the beginning of the modern algebra so we need and if you talk about the application then there are so many application and basically the application of the group are like physical sciences and biological sciences it is found in those studies and uh, in the study of crystal structure human genes and configuration molecules these are the applications of the groups where it is found and uh, they arise naturally these groups arise naturally and this is also the beginning of the study of the algebraic structure so now we will see if any algebraic structure this is any algebraic structure we know that what is algebraic structure we have already discussed about the algebraic structure that along with some non empty set any binary operation is known as the algebraic structure so an algebraic structure is called a group under this particular binary operation here we will we are not generalizing it we are taking the binary multiplication for the simplicity of the group so an algebraic structure is called a group under this particular binary operation if following conditions are satisfied normally in group there are four conditions and the fifth condition is tells some other thing so we will discuss one by one first property is this is the closure property if or all a belongs to g suppose if suppose or all a belongs to g let us consider two elements a and b that belongs to g we have we have a multiply b this also belongs to g then in this condition the set g h said to be closed with respect to the binary operation this is binary multiplication so we can say this is this group or this algebraic structure will hold the closure property this is first property now the second property this is associated property we are familiar with the associative law so if this hold the associative law then we can say so if for all a comma b comma c belongs to g let us consider that three elements a b and c they belongs to g then we will have a multiply b multiply c this is equals to a into b into c means this property holds this is the second property and this associated property should be there if this is existing then we can say that associated property holds now the third property third property is identity element the group must 
contain identity element so if let us say a belongs to g or for all a belongs to g let e be the identity element then we must have a into e equals to a equals to e into e means for all elements of the set this property should hold so this is the third property of the group first property was closure property a group should have the closure property second property it should have the associative property and third property is of identity element the e is the identity element in the fourth property is inverse element a group should contain inverse element if it is containing element then there should be its inverse also if a belongs to g then suppose b is the inverse of a then we must have we must have a into b equals to e equals to b into a suppose there is an element a that belongs to g and suppose b is the inverse of it if this is b in the inverse of it then this property should hold it means the group will have inverse element it can also be written as a into a inverse plus to e plus to b into a inverse can also be written like this so this is the four property the group will contain the inverse element fifth property this is commutative property this is very important property if this property is hold by the group it means that group is a commutative group and normally the group is commutative and it is it is holding the like binary addition binary multiplication and that group is known as the abelian group so if a comma b belongs to g then a into b should be equals to b into a we are using this for binary multiplication we can also use this for the binary addition like this Plus b plus b plus a. In this case, the group is known as the abelian group. So, if this hold the commutative property, the group is known as abelian group. So, these are the five properties. First is closure property. Second is associative. Third is it should contain identity element. and the fourth property should contain the inverse element if we are taking any element then there will be the inverse of that particular element this is a fifth property this is commutative property now <coughs> we will see their types they are based on the these five properties first is first is group point group point if and and every structure
following conditions that is it contains the one property following condition this is closer property means we can say if any group or any algebraic structure is having the closer property if it is closed with respect to the particular binary operation then that will be known as the groupoid for example this because we already know that a into b if a comma b belongs to g then a into b also belongs to g their multiplication also belongs to this particular set so this is closed with respect to the binary operation we can also take the example of set of natural numbers and if we take two element of this set this is set of natural number then their multiplication will also be a will also belong to this set in that case this set of natural numbers will be closed with respect to this binary multiplication second is second category of group is semi group any algebraic structure and algebraic structure is or a semi group if following conditions are true first condition is this is closer Identity element A E 
B the identity element of any group E belongs to G and A belongs to or all A belongs to G then we will have A into E plus to A plus to E into A so this is third property if these three properties are told by any algebraic sector and that is known as monoid or we can also say that this is a semi group with identity element in other words we can say that a monoid is a semi group with identity element.